you can create this amazing login form by just using HTML and CSS. Yes. That's right. Absolutely, this guide is designed exclusively for absolute beginners. As always, I have provided you with all the resources used in the video in the description, so that you can easily follow along. And if you are setting up your VS Code for the first time, I have this detailed video explaining all the step-by-step -step procedure, like extensions you need etc. So, this form has a username input field, a password input field, a remember me checkbox, a reset password link, a login button, and a register link for the new users. It also has a glass morphism effect, thanks to the power of the backdrop filter in CSS, making this form so unique. Without further ado, let's get started. I have created this folder on my desktop. Inside it, I have this background image, a HTML file and a CSS file. First up, I will open all this with VS Code. I have already set up this basic HTML structure. I also have this CSS file, with a basic structure. This is known as the Universal Selector. It selects all HTML elements on the page. In other words, it applies the following styles to every single element. Inside the HTML, I have linked the CSS file. I will right-click in the HTML file, select Open with Live Server. This will open in a new window in our browser. This extension in Visual Studio Code is a popular tool designed to simplify the process of developing and testing web applications by providing a local development server that automatically updates your web page as you make changes. With all these set, we are good to go. I will get rid of the sidebar by hitting Ctrl or Command B. Create a div, with class wrapper. Inside it, create a form, with attribute empty since we are not submitting the form data. In this form, we will add one h1 heading, I will call it login. Still in the same form, create a div, with class set to input box. Now in this div, add an input field with the type set to text. In this case, the type is set to text, which creates a single line text input field where users can enter text. Add a placeholder, called username. The placeholder attribute provides a hint or example text that is displayed within the input field before the user enters any data. In this case, username is used as a placeholder to indicate that the user should input their username. I will add required, a boolean attribute, that indicates that the input field must be filled out by the user, before the form can be submitted. Next up, Duplicate this whole division. This will enable us to create a second input field. Change the input type to password. And also the placeholder to password. After these division, we will create another div, with class set to remember forgot. Inside it, add a label. And in the label, add an input. Change its type attribute to checkbox. This creates a checkbox that users can check or uncheck. The text displayed next to the checkbox will be remember me. Now add an hyperlink element. In this case we will add a placeholder link hash. Usually, you would replace it with the actual URL or JavaScript function that handles the password recovery process. The text displayed will be forgot password. Create a button, with class between. Add a type attribute, and set it to submit. This indicates that the button is intended to submit a form. 
The text displayed on the button will be login. Create a div element with class register link. Inside it, add up a paragraph. And in the paragraph, add don't have an account. Add a hyperlink with hash as the placeholder link. Set the text of the link to register. Perfect, now we can preview the whole form. I think it is coming up well. We will begin by adding two icons in the input fields. To do that, open your browser and open boxicons.com. Under Usage, scroll down to Usage as a font. Copy the link. And in your HTML file, right below the CSS link, paste the copied code. Go back to the website. Return to the home page. And inside here we will search for the icon we want. First icon is the user. I like this one. Click on font and copy it. In your HTML, in the first input box, paste it above the closing div element. Do the same for the second icon. Perfect, here are the two icons. Next up, we need to style the whole form by first opening your CSS file. We will begin with the body. Inside it, add the following. Display, flex. Justify content, center. Align items, center. Minimum height, 100 VH. For now, we will add a background of sea green color. In the HTML, we have this class wrapper, which we need to add a CSS for it. Inside it, add width, 420 pixels, background, purple, color, white. In the wrapper, we have this H1. Let's create a CSS for it. Font size, 36 pixels, text align, center. Here is the styled heading. Next up, we need to style this input boxes. But first let us check their class. Here it is. Inside it, add width, 100%, height, 50 pixels, background, yellow, Margin, 30 pixels and 0. Dot input box, input. Inside it, add the following. This will set the border to a solid of 2 pixels width, and a transparency value of 0.2. The color is represented as white with 20% opacity, allowing the underlying content to show through the border to some extent. Now if we remove this yellow background, we can clearly see the styled input boxes, with a border that is somehow transparent. Next up, let's make this placeholders white. Perfect. We now want to move this icons into the input boxes, but first, we will confirm their class. Here it is. Now add the following.
If we now check it, the icons are outside the input box. To move them into the input box, come here, and add a position, to relative. Here it is, now let's move it in the center. Perfect. We should also change this input text to something more visible, let's say to a white color, and also increase its size. Nice. Next up, we will add a padding to this input text. In the HTML, we have this Remember Forgot class, which we also need to create a CSS for it. The CSS will include a space between Remember Me and Forgot Password. Let us also make this white, and also make it underlined on hover.